there are some things inherent in the way that you run a, a business, a web business in particular, that uh, means you're adaptable when the economic climate has gone in the direction it has. And there's sort of three things that we think about primarily. Uh, one is a culture of openness. Um, second thing is nurturing really great talent. And the third thing is making sure you can operate at pace, which enables you to succeed. Uh, think about openness. Um, the, the, the way we think about things is markets as conversations these days. You know, people engage with brands and identify their brands in a very different way to they did 10 or 20 years ago. So it's important that you have an open dialogue with your customers and your employees, because this will build trust and ultimately that's the success of your brand will live and die by the fact of whether people trust you or not. And at Match.com there's a couple of things that we do uh, that's, that are symptomatic of this. One um, is that everyone in our organisations talks to customers on a weekly basis to get direct feedback about the things we're doing well and the things we need to improve on. Secondly, um, we created something called the Match 100, which was um, 100 of our users, past and present, um, that we had a, a launch and event party, which again was a, a way in which we could go meet people face to face and talk directly about our business. But importantly, it was a way that we could highlight the success and the fact that the product works. And it's, um, it's not just about the technology and the brand, it's about you know, real lives and people connecting and falling in love. And then third thing, very simply, that I do is that I write a blog, which means that um, everyone has available, uh, everyone is able to look at um, snapshots of things that I'm getting up to or thinking about and uh, this is useful a for the employees because there's transparency about uh, my activity and B it's another touch point for our, our customers who are able to to contact me and the other thing we think about is nurturing great talent I mean this is a, this is a truism so it, it's important at any stage of your business but I think if you hire great people it shows particularly when um, times get tough and there's a couple of things about that, you know, it's always, for us, it's about making sure we hire people that have a broad intellectual capacity so that rather than thinking just about the siloed technical role that they operate in, that they're able to input and advise and debate issues across the whole area of our business. So, for example, when we're thinking about our marketing, uh, we make sure that the whole business and the whole team will debate and contribute to the um, discussion around what our marketing needs to look like. And it's not, it's not a democracy as such, but it's a, it's a benign dictatorship, so people are able to input on it, but ultimately the decision comes down to single individuals. Um, following on from that, we like to think about, you know, everyone's an entrepreneur these days. You know, you have to make sure that we're utilising people's skills, intellect, but also their network um, to be able to, to come up with the most creative and the most um, apt solutions to all the problems that we have. The final thing we talk about is being able to operate at pace. And when I think about this, it's about having no hierarchy, having no bureaucracy, and, and, and really making sure that um, we, we have no red tape within our business, so people are allowed to make decisions um, quickly. Um, within that, we're, we have implemented tools, as I said, to measure, to make sure that we have um, the right models to make sure that the risks are calculated